Maybe I have to build something for the legs here. That would be nice. Okay, here we go again. I decided to build a stool, just a small, small stool for my bench outside. Something that you can keep your feet on when you are sitting on the bench. Or, of course, you can use this only, only for sitting. First I was thinking that I will build only one, but then I noticed that I have so much scrap wood left that I can, I can maybe build even two. First I laid uh, all these wood pieces on the table and I looked which one is the shortest one and shortest one was a little bit more than 36 centimeters so I cut all pieces to 36 centimeters long. And of course I rounded all these edges with the round router bit. And those leg parts, I cut some shapes and holes that those would look a little bit more nicer. This drill bit, it wasn't maybe the cleanest way to cut these holes for this wood, but it kind of worked in the end. I really like to use this band, so I hope that I would have a possibility to buy it much earlier, but I just love to use it. For these uh, wider mirror woods, I just uh, cut a simple hole and using this hole you can just lift and move this tool. And next I just uh, started to put these seat pieces together and I decided to use screws and wood glue just to make this a little bit more stronger that it won't break when you sit on it. I also decided to use some uh, wooden plugs to hide these screws, that's why I um, drilled this uh, sink a little bit more deeper.
and to attach the seat part to these legs I decided to use long nuts and bolts and also wood glue and that makes uh, this tool again a little bit more stronger. And about in this moment I noticed that my bolts are not long enough that I could put a nut to the other side so I had to find a solution for that and well simple solution I just uh, cut with my table saw this uh, seat part wood a little bit more thinner and that's just solved the problem. But still, with all the glue and uh, screws and bolts and nuts, it's not strong enough for me. So, of course, I had to find uh, something. So I just cut a simple piece of wood between the legs to make it stronger. And then I just hide all these screws with wooden plugs and wood glue. And when the glue is dry, I just saw these pieces away with my saw. And as you can see, my saw is not in so good condition anymore, so maybe I have to buy a new one. And for the finish I'm using the same oil which I used uh, with the garden bench. And this oil is made for garden furnitures which are staying outside. And the color is teak, which I really like. These feet are maybe not necessary, but I just try to protect a little bit this wood. These are just just a normal plastic feet. Mm, 
my logo, of course. Why not? Finally, those tools are finished and I'm so happy about those. Feels very strong. I can easily sit on them and those won't bend at all. And when I don't need them, I can uh, store those under this bench. And actually, I ended up giving this whole set as a birthday gift to the owner of this house. Okay, that was it. And thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time. Bye.